Hello everybody, my name is Hal. Welcome to this video series where we are solving code versus problems in Python. We are doing the A to OJ letter and in this video we are going to be solving problem 43A which is called football. Let's go ahead and see how we are going to be solving this problem. One day Vasya decided to have a look at the results of Berlin 1910 football championships finals. Unfortunately, he did not find the overall score of the match. However, he got hold of a profound description of the match's process. <coughs> this is like the commentary, okay? On the whole, there are n lines in that description, each of which described one goal. Every goal was marked with the name of the team that scored it. Help us here learn the name of the team that won the finals. It is guaranteed that the match did not end in a tie. What they're saying is, let's see what the input looks like first before explaining that. The input you get n, which is an integer, followed by n lines of the description. Each line symbolizes one team's name, okay? For then one line is basically one goal. For each goal, the name of the team that scores it will be displayed. You don't know what the names of the teams are and each test case, you get different names for the teams. But there are only two names in every test case and the name will depend on which team scored that goal. Your point is very simple. It is guaranteed that the match did not end at a tie. You have to find out which team won that match. And that is found out by which team has a higher number of goals. Okay. How are we going to solve this problem? It's very, very simple. We're going to be using this concept of frequency histogram or frequency distribution, uh, whatever you like to call it, right? We discussed this concept many times in this series. And this, especially the Pythonic implementation of this particular frequency histogram with the dictionary is quite good because it does not need to know what are the keys that is needed. The keys can something that can be generated just by iterating to all of this. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to be maintaining a dictionary called goals and this goal will have this particular logic. We will iterate through all of these things right here. That is for i in range this particular value. We'll say this value is something like string or t. Okay, and this will look like if team in goals, if team in goals, we will say goals of team plus equal to 1, plus equal to 1, else we just do the same thing and then do equal to 1. How that works is, let me check the second case because there's more stuff. Initially, goals is empty, but then A is there. So, A will be initialized to 1, this particular case. Then ABA is that. ABA will be initialized to 1. That will also be there. Then ABA is that. This case will come now. That plus equal to 1. So, ABA will be 2 now. Then A will come again. So, that will plus equal to 1. A is equal to 2. And this final case, A will be 3. Once this is done, once we have this particular distribution, how are we going to calculate which team has the higher goals? We will just do for team in goals. This will give us a list of all the what keys which is the teams here. So what we'll do, we'll keep one particular max pointer, max value for which will be the maximum goals followed by the team. And we will iterate through both of this and say which team has the higher goals set that to team. Okay, so initially we'll set the team value to three, I mean team value to A and maximum value to three. Then what we'll do is in the second case, we'll say, okay, let me say if this particular value is greater 2 is greater than the maximum value, set this to 2 and set the team to ABA. In this case, that won't be there. Once we've iterated to both of these teams, we go ahead and print this team value. Okay, that's how this algorithm works. If you are able to understand that, try to code this for yourself. If not, let's see how that looks like in code. Let's go ahead and take n as input, right? And then what do we need to do? We need to create a for loop to create all the entries getting those inputs. Before that, let us create the dictionary goals that we discussed here and let us go ahead and iterate this, create this for loop for n types. Then what do we do? We take the team as input. And if we say if team in goal, sorry, goals, goals of team will be nothing but plus equal to one, increase the count by one, else set goals of team, create this team and set its initial goals to be one. That is, we are done. We are now able to get the count. So if I go ahead and print this goals dictionary, you can see in every case and show you how many teams scored, how many stuff okay now we need to find out what is the maximum goals and how do you do that we set something called max goals initially equate this to zero and team say okay we can say something like winning winner okay and set this to be blank initial what we'll do is we'll do for key or for team in goals okay 
Now, this team will be nothing but every team that is here. That is A and ABA in this particular case. There is only one team here, so we do not want to discuss that case. What we will do is, see, at least the team which is entered will have at least one goal. So, this particular, whatever team it is, the first team will enter this condition where it is greater than the max goal. So, what we will do is, if goals of team, the goals of that particular team is greater than the maximum goals, what you do in that particular case, you set the maximum goals to this value goals of team of uh, team and then what do you do you set the winner to nothing but team okay you keep doing this until you get one winner obviously there is no tie so you don't have to add an equal to condition here you can just put it to be greater then finally you can just go ahead and print the winner and that's it guys this code should run you see both test cases have passed let me go ahead and submit this on code forces as well so that you guys know that this code works very simple solution. I hope you are able to understand how we are approaching this problem. And if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you guys have any alternative approaches, let me know down in the comments. So, as you can see, the solution got accepted. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video helped you, hit that like button. I will see you in another video. Bye.